Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. And this is a this and that video, guys. I know, right? I know you're like, what? <laughs> it's been years. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has sent me multiple messages through the time of asking me, Anna, when are you gonna do this and that videos? Well, for all of you girls, this is for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and dive in. I did quite a few projects. I'm so proud of myself. And we're gonna start with this one first. This right here is a bookmark. Now, um, I have it on my Bible, but I'm gonna show you how it looks inside. So this is using a size 11 um, check seed bead. So you will see it is super duper duper tiny and I use wire so it makes it much easier to pick up all the beads. This right here are the dangles that hang from it. And these are time consuming, 100% inspired by Pinterest. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make a bunch of those and put them in my store. Um, No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I did two of these and I was like, yeah, no, these will be gifts. But I will definitely not be making these and put them in my store. And honestly, you have to know the size too. So I, I don't wanna make that to where you order, you place your order and I have to make it. I like to make things in advance and then when you buy, when you purchase it, I just send it. So um, these right here are like um, heart pearl beads and then glass beads. It was just a lot of fun to make, but I had to figure it out because there was no tutorial on how to do this. So I did it the way I thought I needed to do it, <laughs> but it came out gorgeous. So let me show you the next one. Let's see if I can get this one out. All right. Okay, and this is in pink. Jeez oh, Louise, if I can get a hold of it. There we go. Just gorgeous. I have three charms hanging from each side. And again, size 11. This one's smaller, so it um, fits my Bible better as far as size-wise but they're all different beads that are on here, but so, so beautiful. So when I make it, when you put these in your books, planners, books you're reading, I mean, look at how pretty. Let me put it over here because of my Bible bookmarking. And then they just hang and you see, that's why you have to use a super small bead because if you do it any thicker, it would be too bulky like that. So using this bead, is just smaller and it just looks beautiful on both ends when it hangs outside of it. Again, I didn't make this to match this size. I was just did it and I didn't even think about <laughs> what book I would put it in. I just made it so absolutely beautiful. Okay, and then I did these right here. These I wanted to make as bag toppers. So I just handmade this right here. I have a punch that does this. And these are Erica's bow dies that was in her just recent release. And then I just added some cheesecloth, a little doily, and then this is another flower from her shop. I will link everything below that I can. And these are shakers. I just used seed beads. And then the, you can't even see the um, paper because I put lace on top of it. But you can't even see the lace. And it was a lot of work to add the lace. So I'm kind of bummed you can't even see it but it's in there and I thought these would be super fun and really pretty. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and jump in to these. I made two of these. Okay, these um, heart clips right here, Hobby Lobby, you get two silver, two gold in a pack. And then, well, let's see if I can, there we go. And this is the big thing on Pinterest. This is where I got the inspiration from, is getting, this is the EOS um, lip gloss, and it comes in three different flavors. And then I just wire wrapped a couple beads, and then I just made it to coordinate with this. So if in case this runs out, you can easily get some pliers and take it off, and then just have the pretty charms in this hang. So it's not like you have to get rid of the whole thing, just take this off. And I love it, so it twists and turns, super duper cute. So I made two of those, and then I did two of these. Again, here's the other one, Watermelon Frosé. And then I just did, and this one has a little glass heart. And then I did this one. And then I just did these little 
pearls. And then they just hang on with jump rings. Super duper cute, so I did two of those. And then I did two of these. These ones are amazing. These are different toggles, and these are not toggles, but clasps. But again, these are from Hobby Lobby. So I did this one charm. And then this one, this little dangle. And then I did this one right here. It's a heart. And then I did Swarovski crystals, glass pearls, and then just glass beads. Isn't that just so pretty to like hang from your purse? Again, inspiration from Pinterest. I am living with, Pin like I love Pinterest. And then this is the last one I did, which is all glass pearls and, um, and Swarovski AB um, pearl or glass gosh, <laughs> crystals crystals and then I did this one right here these doves are from Hobby Lobby you get two to a pack super pretty so that's one dangle and these bows I did not make but they are from Hobby Lobby you get two to a pack it is on my list to make these they're all over Pinterest as well so I was like I'm gonna make these but I didn't make that one and then here is the coordinating one. Isn't it pretty though when you see all of it together and it hangs on your purse? Stop it. So stinking cute. So I did two of those. Then these zipper pulls, I did not purchase these. I just gave half the cost of them to a crafty friend and she bought them and we split them. So I don't know where she got them and it was probably five years ago. But I'm sure you could find these. They were all white. I didn't paint them. That's just the way they came. And then I added these dangles. And this was inspired by Prima. Prima had some um, that were like this. And I was thinking, and I had mentioned it to her, oh, we should make our own. Because it's so easy to do that. And then you would just, since they're metal, you would want to use E6000 to adhere it. You definitely do not want to use hot glue because it'll pop right off. So I did this blue one. Then I did two of these really pretty pink ones. Oops. And then I did this green one with this sideways heart. I purchased those many years ago from um, LA, but they don't have them. I just recently went there um, with my friend Anna and not only the prices are doubled, I don't need to go back there again. So it's not even worth it to go there for my crystals and not to mention they did. They don't sell um, um, Swarovski crystals there no more. They only sell Australian crystals, which are beautiful because I did purchase some and I'll show you in a haul video. But um, they just change their prices like dramatically. So these right here, I purchased a kit from Wandy, who's Wandy Sweets on Instagram, and it was to make these three pins. Everything you see is in was in that kit. So I made these for my granddaughters. So I thought these were super cute because she made some super cute ones. And I'm like, I want to buy that kit. So I thought these were super duper fun. And they're pens. How cute is this? Like, I love it. They're going to love it. And this one's for me, though. Because Wandy gave me this bead. It was not part of the kit. But look at how beautiful that bead is. I seen it in a picture or she showed me something. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I want those. Sell me those. She's like, she only bought a few. And she gifted me one. So thank you, girlfriend. So I was super excited to get that. And then, okay, so let's jump in on these right here. I made two of these. These are for cell phones or wherever you wanna put them. I mean, if you wanna hang them from a tote or something, I guess you could do that, but these are really meant for um, the cell phones. They do hang six inches and they're all acrylic beads, um, plastic actually. And they're all from Hobby Lobby. All the beads you see, even these focal beads, but, um, Hobby Lobby sells now but all of these super fun beads are are from there and I was like how fun is that and they hang separately so I did and then this right here is hanging off of this little super cute heart that also um, is from Hobby Lobby I thought it was just fun it's just so fun so those are two of those and then I made two of these How cute are these and these are separate it's not one big loop and then this is just the dangle so I did the yellow on there to match the yellow inside the purple but they're just so fun and cute and these super cute flowers they're all bunched up but again everything you see is from Hobby Lobby 
And then I did two of these. I thought they were so fun. So, 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 so cute. Okay, and these are focal beads, which it means for those that may not know, these are like the, they're like rubbery. They're like meant for teether uh, for babies. And then it made it big where we all as crafters started using it for other creations. But that that's, they're just like rubbery. And a, again, Hobby Lobby. Okay, so that's those. Oh, and then I did one of these. I only did one, <laughs> but I will list the tutorial. I'll link the tutorial below from Natalie. She did a tutorial on how to make these and two other kind of bows. And I was thinking Christmas is coming. So I want to make some of these just to have on stash to put on presents. So super easy and fun to make, very addictive. Okay, and then I made, I crocheted. It's been a while since I've crocheted, but I did these roses. I will link the tutorial I used. And these are the kind where you do, it's a long strip and then you just wrap it and then you, um, it makes the rose. And I used um, glass pearls in the middle. And then the adhesive I used when I rolled it for them to stay together is three in one beacon glue. And I also use the same glue to put these in. Um, I didn't want to use hot glue because hot glue makes it very hard and really crispy and I don't, I don't want that on here. And then, so I did six of those. And then I did four of these. And this is, uh, we'll link the tutorial for this one too. She used a cotton crochet. So it's meant to be, I believe, a coaster. This is not cotton. You see, like, it's it was just a super, you're not going to be able to tell in the camera, but there is gold threading through this yarn. And it's like a super really soft, just really pretty fluffy type of yarn and I just wanted to give it a try so I made about four of these and what I might end up doing is um, if I ultra a tote bag I'm gonna put lace and appliques and stuff like that and then I'll adhere it as one piece so that's what this is for this is the back because I haven't cut this part off yet but these were super fun I will link it below as well and then I did this hat I wanted to do another hat I showed a hat before and it was a jean colored hat and this hat I purchased from Hobby Lobby they're five dollars it's already distressed and it's trucker in the back it's velcro closing and everything I added so this actually almost everything on here this from Hobby Lobby this is stretchy I only adhere in the middle I don't adhere up here or down here so, and I use the three-in-one beaking glue or Fabri-Tac. And again, with this, I don't adhere. I only do it in the middle. And then I just did the whole section. And then this right here is an applique that I cut in half. And then I put one down here and I added flat back pearls. And I, even for these, I used the three-in-one beaking glue. And you can get that at Hobby Lobby. And the same up here. I used um, the pearls and the app and it, everything on there. And then this is one of my um, crocheted flowers. I was thinking that's perfect to match with that hat. And, and I love it because it didn't have, it wasn't hard on it. So it had a little bit of give. And then these are from the rolls at Hobby Lobby. And I just cut a couple of them off and adhered those, but super pretty. Right? I love love how it came out these are addictive to make they really are it only took me like 15 minutes to make it so I'll be carrying these in my shop soon um, I am ordering from the actual manufacturer um, these hats um, because they don't sell the jean ones um, the blue jean ones at Hobby Lobby they have black jean that's distressed like this and I think white or something it just wasn't pretty to me so I only what wants this color and then the blue jean so I love how it came out. So that is it. I think I got it all. That's a lot. <laughs> so I am so happy that to be able to do the, uh, this in that video for you ladies. And thank you so very much for, you know, um, I don't know, messaging me privately and, and being kind enough to, you know, request for it and just kind enough to watch my videos and leave me such sweet comments. I appreciate you guys. So thank you again very, very much. Have an amazing and super blessed weekend. And I will see you very soon because I have a card kit to show you that I finished for Frank. All right. Bye, guys.